What's up, beautiful people? I'm Brody from Boston, and today we're going to be talking about triggers. So, what's a trigger to me? A trigger is like something that sets off a reaction in your brain that wants you to do something. Alright, it could be something like obsessive compulsive where you would like bite your lip or bite your nails or it could be something like a trigger where your anxiety would blow through the roof or your depression would be nuts these are triggers so and then also there's other triggers that cause addicts and other people like that to go use drugs there's so many different triggers out there that we just need to talk about them so right now I'm gonna give you guys a heads up right now before we even get into this video that it's going to be triggering stuff. This is going to be stuff that triggers me and I want to, you know, give you guys what I do to try to get past it and what I've done to just crumble under the touch and just fall victim to this pressure. So, one of my major triggers, this is crazy to even talk about. This is so weird and embarrassing. One of my major triggers, believe it or not, would be driving in a car with my friends and then driving by a Dunkin' Donuts. It doesn't have to be with my friends. It could be with my parents. It could be with anybody. And this is a while back. Driving by Dunkin' Donuts. This is strange. This is a strange one, yes. But So Dunkin' Donuts, every single time we would buy our drugs, we would go right to Dunkin' Donuts and get a straw. Now, every time I drive by Dunkin' Donuts, I want to go in, get a straw, and get high. But it hasn't been happening to me lately. Like the last two years, I don't even care. I just drive right by it. But it was number one on my list for a long time. I, When I didn't have enough money to, to get high, I would hate driving by them. It's just, a, it's just a rough spot for me. Now, what I would do would be like go in there, just steal a straw or multiple or 10 or 20, and then leave and then just go sniff and do my drugs. Super embarrassing. Another thing is too, it's like, when you have these triggers and these things hitting you, you do things that you would never do before. So like, you rob people, or it, it just, it's terrible. Another trigger that people have would be an anxiety trigger. An anxiety trigger would be something like your alarm clock, waking up in the morning, now you gotta go to work. Uh, it gives you that anxiety feeling. Sometimes it could be depression where you know you're gonna make a payment soon and that triggers your depression there there's so many different triggers but what we got to figure out is how to deal with these triggers and know when the triggers are coming how to deal with them that is what is key so for somebody that has like anxiety like me I have anxiety and you get a trigger what can you do stupid whatever they like oh count to 25 and count the colors in your room I've tried it before. It doesn't really work for me. So I want to know if you guys have any input to help us out right here. What do you guys do for your anxiety? Do you have any secret tricks? And that's that. One of my favorite things to do when I have anxiety literally is just scratch my arm. Just like this. Just kind of like, it just kind of like soothes me. This is just, this is no scientific base to this at all. This is just what I'm going through right here. I just like it. it. Calms me down. Okay, another de a depression thing. Or like having like a girl or another person, you know, just rub their hands, scratch my back or my neck. It, it, it soothes me. And then some other noises, some other smells, like if I go on a nice walk through the woods, it really does something to me. Like I feel all of the living stuff around me is is giving me feedback and I take it in willingly. Okay, so now another thing I want to talk about is what's coming up next. We got some new shit coming up next here in the Brody from Boston YouTube channel. So I have some test results that I'm going to be showing you guys in future videos to come. Test results that literally right here. So whenever you guys are available to watch my future videos, come check them out because they're going to be very eye-opening. I'm gonna have my levels from my urine levels. I'm gonna have extremely good updated video of like how I'm going right now, especially on two milligrams of Suboxone. It's kind of rough, but I'm kind of put weight back on. I'm starting to, you know, heal up from it. But it's like so weird how this happens. Like, I will go up, 
be doing really good, like putting weight on, sleeping good, eating great, everything. And then you just working great, working out great, ever jacking off great, it all. And then I just take a turn, usually on like when the medications are like I'm coming off of them and I'm withdrawing heavy. I will not sleep. I won't really eat much. I won't. It sucks. It sucks. There's only one thing you can do though. Is keep pushing and finish it though. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm going to go for. So I'm going to have. I'm going to be showing you guys my drug test results. Because it's that important. Like I have to prove to you guys. How this is going. It's going well. I also. Had a crazy visit with my suboxone doctor. It did not go good at all. She kicked me out of the room, basically. She kicked me out of the room. That's coming up too in, a, in another video. But I just kind of wanted to put together just like a quick triggering video that I hope triggers nobody, but it possibly could. But I gave you that warning in the beginning um, just to show you guys what I do with my triggers. Sometimes when I'm really, really stressed out, I just like want to play video games. Don't care about anything else going on on the planet. Just fucking do your thing. I'll just do my thing, and we just keep looking the other way. <laughs> okay. That being said, I'm Brody from Boston. I'd appreciate you liking this video, sharing it, and uh, subscribing. You guys are the best. Stay safe and have a great day.